So I'm doing a siege tier list. Uh, first operator is Alibi, the cloning defensive character. Uh, she can clone herself and whenever someone on the opposing team shoots her, she can track them. So I'd say she was really good. She was one of my mains at one point. Next character is Ash. She can shoot something that destroys barricades on walls and for Russian that would be good but it also it's really bad for friendly fire so I put her in uh, she's not that good I put her in bad she, she's not stinky but she, she's not meh next character is Bandit I don't really like Bandit he's a bit stinky you know all he does is he's able to like shock reinforcements and barbed wire which is okay but it's not that useful for, for like combat so it's it's good on one side of things but on the other he's not that great blackbeard he's a really good character he has a shield on his gun to protect his like face which is really good normally players aim for the face as it does more damage he's a really good character like i put him in really good let's uh let's move alibi down to okay and yeah blackbeard he has a really good gun and he's got a shield on it blitz um stinky uh, just shields in general like they're just terrible book is really good character he has a shotgun on the under barrel of his uh, assault rifle which is useful for like and it's useful for preserving ammo and timing so i put i put him in really good uh, there's no mess at the moment it's quite symmetric all right nick fury he's a he's got a glass arrow crossbow it's it's not the best because of the reload time but he's o he's okay i'd say I, I don't use him often but if i would it would be for stealth okay um castle castle has the reinforcements for barricades i, I find that really good and he's he's got quite good guns so it makes up for the assault side of things as well so i'm gonna put him in really good caviera she's a stealth character and she's She's actually really good. I, I like her, but I think she's better than these. I put her in best because it's a, it's a really good feeling of killing someone and then you can see the other players on the map. I put her in best, yeah. Who's that? I do not know this character. I'm gonna put that character at the bottom and we'll come back to them. All right, um, Doc. Doc's a really good character. I'm gonna put Doc in really good. He, he, heals, he heals his teammates and he can also revive himself. Let's just really good and he's got good guns as well all right uh dockaby dockaby's a really good character she can put a hack on the opposing players pdas which um you have to disable and that that wastes the time so i i feel like she's she's a quite good character um i put her in okay because i don't use her that often echo's a, an okay character i wouldn't i wouldn't say he was really good he's got a drone he's a defender and he um he can stun attackers before they get into the room, I would I wouldn't say he's really good. I'd say he was. If you play him right, he's really good. But I I don't like him really. If this is my opinion, and he's just a meh. Ela, not not the best of characters. I'd say she was bad. It's it's basically just a really good stun. But I d I don't like it. It was inspired from a like a tank grenade in World War Two. I I don't I don't like it. It's it's not the best. All right, this is finca she she makes cocktails and boosts players hp which is which is okay but i wouldn't consider the best character okay frost i'm, I'm just gonna put her in really good um she has traps the the really good the they're, they're not that easy to spot and i always get caught in them. okay um fuse there we go go on alex make you rant about me Fuse is a terrible character. I've said this before. It's just it's just an all-around terrible character. You need no skill to play him. His guns are his guns are good and his bombs are OP. So what you do is you stick them onto like drywall or reinfo or reinforced barricades or barricades and they just shoot bombs through and it's just stupid. It shouldn't be in the game and it ruins all aspects of everything. Especially Especially ones where there's no um, no thing inside, but you have to protect, like a hostage. Because if you if you're playing on bomb or or any other game mode like that, 
you're just gonna get destroyed by fuse. Okay, glass, glass throws smoke, and um, he's got a thermal sniper. I, I'd say that was that was good, but I don't like using snipers, especially in siege. They're, they're not the greatest of weapons. That's why there's near enough none in the game. So I think he goes in there. Habana, Habana has a gun that can shoot out explosives that can be detonated whenever the player hits the. I don't know the detonation button. This is quite good. She's similar to Ash, but I, I reckon there's um, something different about her. But I don't know. You can have a rant at me, but I'm I'm just gonna put in the same one as Ash. IQ. No, that's not IQ, is it? Oh yeah, it is IQ. IQ. Um, not the greatest of characters. She can see electronics. I'd say she was. She she got really good guns. An MP5 and an assault rifle, I believe. I'd say she was a meh. Like, if, if I'm gonna put these all here, I'm gonna have to put it there as well. Jekyll, he is very good. He can track people's footsteps and he's got amazing guns. He's on the attacking team as well, so we can see where the opposing team have been and where they are if he tracks their footsteps. I'd say he was one of the best in the game, even though he was brought out in season two or three. He's still really good. Okay, Jaeger. Jaeger's a really good character because it stops, it stops people like like Fuse, from just spamming bombs into the room. And I see him as an oh, a real really good character. Yeah, he's he's a really good character. He's got good guns as well. I give him that. Cade, uh, is Cade or Kaide? I I don't know, but he's he's just a better version of Jaeger. Really, he's he's. As things more ranged, so he's got more of a purpose. I put him meh, even though Jaeger is in stinky, because he, he's got good guns as well, and he's he's a higher season, so he's bound to be better. Because <laughs> you know, if you pay more money, you get the better characters. All right, Capcan it used to be really good when he when he was one shot on a person. If a person walked over his Capcan, he they would get destroyed. But now. I think it only does 50 damage, but he has he has m double the amount, which which makes him best better for the opposing team because everyone used to complain about him. But as a character, he's not that good anymore. So I'm just thinking whether to put him in bad or meh. Um, he's got a good gun as well, actually. Yeah, so I'll put him in meh. Legion is a defending character and. He places down spikes, and when an attacker walks over them, they get poisoned until they take it out. So he, he's quite good. He, de he deals quite a bit of damage. I put him in. I put him in meh. So Twitch provides Lion with a motion detector in the house, which hopefully they don't have in real life. But he's a really good character. I'd say one of the best, because he has a really good gun and he can detect anyone who's moving in the house. Alright, funny Italian man, he's quite he's quite bad, uh, he has a turret that goes on a wall, which can be remotely operated, shoots out lasers, you know. It's it's not the best, too much work, as in, to guard the defend, to defend and to also use a turret, which is in a different place to where you are. Unless you're right next to the turret, which defeats the purpose of the remote control. I put him in okay. Because the, the laser does a ton of damage and its reload speed's fairly decent. Orcs, I think his name is, he's just a Greek god, you know. He can climb and barge through walls, you know. He's just big strong man. Big strong man, funny hair. Alright, so Mira. Uh, I think she goes in stinky because... It's it's a, it's basically just a one-way mirror that you place on a wall. Like, of course, you can see the opposing team come through, but it's it's just a bit clum clunky. Is that a, is that the word clunky? It's just a bit bulky. Yeah, it's it's just a bit bulky, and your your own teammates can shoot it down at the wrong time if you're not communicating with them. And teamwork is really needed with this one. Which not a lot of people do. Uh, Montagna, basically a shield. I think he should be removed. 
He's he's not great. He's just a full body shield. That's all he is. All right, mute. Um, stop drones from entering the room. It's it's just stinky. Like it's it's a the first season. It's just stinky. Nomad's really good gun. Absolutely amazing gun. It's it's the best against shields and it's just powerful enough to break through them. Funny bald man. I, I say this is a better version of Mira, uh, although you can't see them, uh, you can sense them around you, and it's it's less clumpy, it's, it's less less work and more assault based. I, I put them in okay, no, I put it, I put them in meh, and then I move. I'm gonna move um, Cap Can up by one because because he has got a good gun oh all the all the defaults defaults used to be useful when season one was locked but now people only use them because they have most of the guns i'm gonna put one in best and then the rest in should be removed because i feel like only one person should be a default on your team uh rook has insane armor and he provides this team with more armor so it's just, it's just a boost to the whole team and he's he's already got that boost so i put him in i put him in okay since he's he's quite good for boosting the team sledge um sledge can knock down walls he's got a good shotgun he's very rush heavy i put sledge in in okay because uh because all he does really is knock down walls but he's got a, he's quite rush heavy which is good uh, smoke just gasses players out um, with the ability to walk through the gas. I'd I'd say he was meh. No, I, I'd say he was okay because this is a really good advantage against the other team. Tachanka um, should be removed. Yeah, that that's, that's all I have to say really. It's, it's just a turret that you have to manually use. It's not great. Uh, Thatcher's got an EMP which disables all the electronics in her. In a radius of it, I'd say this was this was okay since the the game's like there's a lot of electronics in the game. Thermite's really good because he opens a weak point on reinforcements for opposing team, which can be stopped by electric on the reinforcements, which brings them down a tier. But I put I put him in there because that that's quite useful. Um, Twitch, uh, I don't know. It's it's not that good. It's, it's She's not that great. She's got an okay gun, but the the, dro the drone, it's just too much for a rush-based game. Valkyrie's quick. She's got 360 cameras, which can be placed virtually everywhere, apart from outside the building, which is really useful. I, I put it in really good, because this, this allows the player to see outside of the room that they're in, without being in any danger from the opposing team. Van Dyke has a cloak which electronics can't see him, so it's useful against people like Twitch and uh, Valkyrie. I, um, I'd say it was useful, but it's 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 not that helpful in the long run. So I put him in there. All right, Ying. It's described as a new breed of stun grenade, which stuns people multiple times at once from the same grenades. I'd say this is really good because it helps rush into rooms. Alright, it goes more into depth, but Zofia has a concussion gun. It's not the greatest. I got it from the Christmas uh, random character events. She's not the best. I put in bad. Okay, now Clash. This is very controversial because if you're using Clash, it's very it's very good. But if you're not using Clash, it's it's just a nightmare. It's um it's a defending shield, so it's different and it has electric on the front so it damages the player by 10 health every time i believe and they can just sit in a corner and just shoot i i feel like it should be removed really okay i'm done there we go this was my point of view if you're a professional at the game don't go disliking the video it's just my opinion on the characters that's that's just what i have to say about the characters fuse is stinky jackal goods